Hello, my name is Jon Vesper, a member of Team Darkstar. I'm uh, on the Hearthstone team, playing playing with my teammates uh, Freaky, uh, Skismatron, uh, Sven, and our manager Martin. Uh, I'm I'm uh, my nickname is Orange in Hearthstone, and I'm quite known on the ladder most, but also getting there in the tournament scene. Uh, I'm 20 years old, and uh, I live in Westeros in Sweden. I've been a former uh, a professional Magic the Gathering player, which is also a TCG. Uh, but when Hearthstone came out, I became so interested in that, so I made a transition, and I'm now mostly playing Hearthstone. It's really uh, like it's been really easy for me to transition like from Hearthstone to Magic because a lot of that stuff is very similar to each other. I'm a really competitive person, just by nature. I've been playing games like since I was a little kid, and like I really enjoy winning. And uh, and uh, but mostly, uh, what what drives me to be a better player is that like ev every time I I play I play a game, and uh, like there's no better feeling than uh, feeling that you like play the game really well and you re really performed like at at your best. Seeing self improvement is like a big deal to me, and uh, I, I think that is what drives me actually. That I see that I become better and better, and uh, like getting up there with like the pro players, do the same plays that they make, and stuff like that. It, that, that is really my motivation. And since I've joined Team Darkstar, uh, like we are pushing each other uh, a lot um, among the team. Uh, like uh, everyone is really just wants to get better, and like when you see. Uh, your teammates succeed, you get the motivation to succeed as well. It's as simple as that. I've done this for such a long time now. Like, yeah, as I said earlier, like I, I played games since I was very little, like 12 years old. And like, early in my career, like in my magic career, I was like quite known for... I took losses like really hard. I was uh, pretty known for like going on tilt and like stuff like that. And, and that and I won't lie, like a couple of times I've considered like just qu quitting like playing games because it like sometimes it, they're unfair, etc. But I always seem to like come back to it. I I guess like all I need like when things feel rough, I just need to take a break, do something else. And, like, and I'm not talking like about an hour, like I might be not be playing anything like in a week or so, but like I, I always come back to it because uh, this is what I love to do. And that's not something you just let go that easily. It's like a snowball effect, really. Uh, like you start out, like I started playing casually and uh, like in half soon, like I I just played arena, thought it was kind of fun, but then like some of my friends started playing it competitively, so I I thought like yeah, th th this seems like then we have goals I can reach for, so uh, I'll, I'll join them and see if if it's something that, that if it's for me. I I quickly learned how to do it since I have a former uh, background of TCGs, and uh, you know if things just kind of snowball from there. You 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 get in you get in touch with people you. You talk to them. It gets more serious over time. Like yeah, I played since early beta back in January, I I think. So I made a lot of friends through the, through Hearthstone, and uh, like now, like I, I would consider like some of my teammates, like also some of my closest friends. Uh, and uh, so therefore, like we're in this together, and uh, we all want to aim for Hearthstone competitively because it's really appealing, and we're of the same personality that we're like very competitive and want and want to win. We don't like the game is fun and all, but like what would be like the most exciting would be to be like the best, and uh, that, that's what got us going, I think. Some of the players I really look up to, like in in Hearthstone, then uh, is uh, like the fir first first one is uh, really Amas. He is like. I know that he is like the most popular and all, so this like will sound really mainstream. But the thing with Amas is that when he started out, like he w wasn't very good. Like when he started out, out, I was way better than him because he is he had a background of World of Warcraft. He had never played TCGs before. But that guy is I'm not liking him because it's entertaining. He clearly is, but like the reason I really look up to him is because he's just been trying so hard. He's he's been playing the game so much and like just like. He, he's not a natural talent or anything. Like just like me, I'm, I've just like I'm where I am because of hard work, basically. 
and uh, like Am Amaz is, is has done the exact same thing. Like he is just really playing a lot, and now he's um, among the better players in in the world, I I'd say. Uh, and one other player I also really look up to is uh, Reynard because he. He comes from from a magic background and as well, just like me. I actually we were friends like uh, on on Magic Online and always discussed with each other. And like I, like I, I look up to him since like his he he made a transition. He's now a half stone pro, and therefore like um, I, I I want to be at, like that as well. Joining Team Darksa has been a really big turning point for me. The first time I feel like. I could really get there. Like I, I could be one of the one of the best players in the world given enough time. And like I think like some of the players on, on my team will also like get there eventually. Uh, so I, I just want to say to you all that uh, you should watch. You, you should have an eye on yes, not uh, not me, but like the whole team Darkstar, because uh, like we're up and coming and we will be great like very soon. We we have so many good players. We're working together and uh, like e everything feels great at the moment and i uh, and i can't see like how, how that is in the case like it, how it, it it will get better like even better going forward like we have already started like with having a freak at seed story cup and uh Skizmatron getting third place at G gigacon and like that's just like what we've done in a couple of months on Darth Star. Like uh, as soon as we like get a big break breakthrough, you will see us everywhere. Like I, I assure you that. So sh big shout out to to Darkstar and my team because it, it's really great. And uh, I hope you guys uh, keep an eye on us.